What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dom's Crypto where we talk about cryptocurrencies and blockchain. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads. In today's video, we want to focus on layer 2 of Ethereum, which is Arbitrum. Arbitrum is one of many layer 2s on Ethereum and in today's video, we'll have a look at how to use Arbitrum, how to bridge your tokens from Ethereum into Arbitrum and how to use it on the dApps that support this particular layer 2. But to start off, let's talk about what is layer 2. Well, Ethereum is a network which is the second biggest cryptocurrency and there is a lot of congestion on this particular network. That's why in the past few months we've seen very high gas fees. And gas fees are basically the amounts you have to pay to execute transactions on the network. In the past months, we've seen gas prices shoot up very high, up to the point where a single Uniswap swap has been priced at around $200 to $400 at times. And what makes these congestions? Well, usage. So we've seen a NFT craze We've seen minting on Ethereum of the NFTs and that has shot up the prices of gas in the past, but also many other things like token generation events in the past have been very gas costly. And this means that the more congestion there is on the network, the higher the gas fees. So that's when layer two solutions comes in. These layer two solutions are basically ways of you uh, being able to use a different network, you could call it a system network to Ethereum and use it with lower gas fees because those chains have less usage at times. And those chains can also be filled up in time. But from the point of actual creation of those layer twos, they're pretty empty. That's why gas fees can be minimal compared to the main chain, which is Ethereum. So on l2beat.com, you have an overview of all layer two solutions on uh, Ethereum. And as you can see, Arbitrum, which we're talking about today is number one with 2 billion of TVL. Also, number two is Optimism, which had an airdrop of a token and DYDX, which did pretty much the same thing. They had an airdrop as well. So there's a lot of speculation that Arbitrum one day might also release a token. Right now, they don't have a token life, but if they do, and if they follow the airdrop route that Optimism had, for example, then for every use of Arbitrum, you potentially will be rewarded with some tokens. But that's not something that's definite, it's just speculation. So Arbitrum is the top layer two solution right now. And on CoinGecko, you can go to the top Arbitrum ecosystem coins by market cap, and you'll be able to see which coins and which protocols support Arbitrum as a network. So let's see how to bridge tokens, your Ethereum, for example, into Arbitrum so that then you can use that network. If you go to Arbitrum.io, this is the landing page, which has many useful tools on it. As you can see, right on the website, you have a bridge into Arbitrum, which is a button. And if you go ahead and click that button, you'll be taken into a page which asks you to connect your MetaMask to. Once you're happy and you select the MetaMask account you want to connect, go ahead and click next and connect. So that might take a few moments to load up, but once we load up, you'll be able to see your Ethereum balance. And if you want to bridge some of that Ethereum from layer one into layer two, which is Arbitrum, go ahead and input the amount. So right now we want to bridge 0.1 ETH from our Ethereum wallet MetaMask into layer two. Go ahead and click deposit and move funds to Arbitrum. Once you click the move button, you'll be greeted with MetaMask notification once again, which will ask you about the confirmation. If you're happy with all the information on here, select gas and the amount that you've input is correct. You can go ahead and click confirm. So right now that we've clicked confirm, we'll be waiting around three minutes for this transaction to proceed. And once this transaction proceeds, you'll be able to use that Ethereum that you've bridged over on Arbitrum. So one of the most popular projects on Arbitrum is GMX Exchange. 
and we've made a separate video covering GMX and what are the benefits of using GMX so I will link that video in the description below. But Arbitrum allows you to buy GMX tokens. If you go to the gmx.io website and if you go to the buy section, you'll be able to go to buy on Arbitrum. That will take you to, to this page. Go ahead and click purchase GMX. That takes you to an interface of Uniswap and once your Ethereum is bridged here, so let's go back and see how we're doing. So as you can see, the estimate arrival time is six minutes. So there's a bit of congestion on Ethereum. Once that processes, you'll be able to input that 0.1 ETH or however much you've bridged in to make a purchase of GMX. So this has been a tutorial on how to use Arbitrum Layer 2 Network. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. There are many people who will be able to answer them. But also, if you want to learn more about Arbitrum, you can go ahead and click the learn section to take you to the documentation, which answers many questions. So this is it for today. Let me know if you want me to create more tutorials on other chains. Uh, I'll be more than happy to do them. Let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next one.